Hello from Taj Mahal and Medics. I've got a Mazda 3 here on a 2017 plate. Just doing a headlight bulb on this and the position lamp basically. The main dip bulb is right there. That's a, that's a low beam, that's a high beam. And here is a position lamp around this area here. But as you can see from here, there's literally no space to get to the bulbs. You can get your hands through here and try to do it, but it's going to be very difficult. Um, unless you get a mirror and stuff like that or get it through the arch lining which is that bit there you need to remove this one here is more difficult because of the fuse box so what you got to do you got to no matter what you've got to definitely do this through the arch lining unless you've got skinny hands small hands get your hands through here and then do the main dip bulb which is not a problem but to do a position lamp you definitely got to do it through the arch lining which again it's right here so you've got to remove these clips here once you remove these clips then you can push the wheel arch in a little bit and then get your hands in try to take the bulb out all you could do is uh, take the wheel off which would be a lot easier but that's more difficult because obviously you do more work or jack the car up just make sure when you do jack the car up put axle stand and eat it so then you'll have a lot more space to put your hands through as well just gonna show you now Right, okay, I'm using a clip puller to take these uh, clips out. They do get a little bit tight, so if you want to spray some WD-40 in, spray some WD-40, that'd be brilliant. I've got to wedge this in. I haven't sprayed anything in there at the moment. Or you can use a flat screwdriver and then try to sort of pull them out. Like I said, they're not the easiest ones to do. So do take extra care when you're doing them. This one out. We're just screwing there. That's out now. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can get this pushed back a little bit and then see what we're looking at. But I still need to take more out. But I think it's better for me to jack her up. So basically, that's the bulb right there we need to replace. And the position lamp is going to be somewhere on the back there, which is going to be across on the more on the right hand side, sort of around that area there. So let me just jack the car up, then it'll be a lot easier. But let's say now that I've got the car jacked up, and it's a good height for me as well. Right, what to do is I to take the extra clips off. So there was one here, there was one here, there's one at the back there to give me more room. So these are the clips. If you ever want a tool, this is a clip removal tool. You can use a flat screwdriver if you wanted to. So you can wedge your screwdriver in there. See, you see, my gloves are so bad. I can change them in a minute. Right. Okay, what I'll now do is pull this back. As you can see now, there's so much room. Like I said to you earlier on, the cable for the position lamp is here. So if I get the camera in, that's the one, that's the plug we want to remove. So if I twist that to my left, usually they do get really tight so make sure you push on it and then twist it to your left and then take it out nice and easy remember the seal so when you do put it back on make sure the seal is intact so this is a 501 bolt position lamp which we're going to replace and that's the h11 bulb which is for the main dip now if you did want a h11 bulb you can get that from uh, there'll be a link for it in the description you can get it from there. Let me just unplug this first. So push and then pull. Okay. So what I had to do is I had to push on this and then pull. So once I've done that, just remember how the bulb is facing. That's exactly how you want to put it in. So if I twist that to my right and then take it out. So I did this and then pulled it out. Remember this as well, when you do put it on, make sure you get it right, you get it in the right way. Otherwise you'll damage the bulb and the image is going to be quite bad. So what I now do is get the new one. It's, it's the most annoying. That's the one, let's just put that in. So he's got the white ones basically. So we're going to move this back, slot it through, get that in the hole. Make sure I have it in an angle. So it needs to sort of kind of slide in. That's it, it's in. 
and then I turn it to my left. That's it. So as you can see now, that's in there now. So what I now do is plug it in. Right, could you replace the 501 bulb for me, please? I'll take the old one out. That's not a problem. But could you put the new one on? Make sure. Uh, clean gloves. Right, okay. Just let the bulb through. Might as well hold this here. Right, I've got the bulb in now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to locate the hole. It's right at the top there. And then put in an angle. Once it goes in an angle, then you twist it to your right. So make sure it locks in place. That's it, that's locked now. Before I put back, before I put everything back together, I'm just gonna check to make sure it's working. Go on then. Right, that's the position lamp, that's working. Again, switch it on. You didn't have to start her up, but that's fine, no problem. Now that there is working. This one here is working as well. So I'm gonna do exact same procedure on the other side. Just give me one sec, let me show him this. This is a bit yellow. Now you can see there, that's not working. The position lamp's not working. But this one is, but he's changing the yellow bulb to uh, the white ones, and hence that's why he's doing both of the bulbs together. So I'm just... Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put this side back in. It's exactly the same procedure on the other side. So what you're going to do when you do the other side, make sure you do it the way you take this side out. That's it, it's all lined up. All lined up. I'll get a clip, shove a clip in, and then push the clip in. So I'm going to do the rest as well. That's all it was on this particular model. Uh, if there is anything else you need to know, comment us below. We'll try helping you as much as we can. And there is a playlist for Mazda as well. Do check that out. There's a special thanks button. Don't forget to click that as well. Also, uh, if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Now, just 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 a recap. If you did want to do it from here, you can do it. But you got to get a mirror and then see where the bulb is located and then get to the bulb. And it's easy to do this side. Even the position lamp as well, it's really easy to do this side, but I've shown it to you the harder way because there you've got a fuse box. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.